Hello everyone and welcome back to another building video. Today we're going to be building a massive every occult mansion. Every occult in The Sims 4 is going to be housed in this one weird house. I say weird because this is definitely, well most definitely, the weirdest house and the most intricate design of a house I've ever built. So you know me, I love building. Uh, I love building quite modern homes but I've never actually dwelled into this like creative aspect of building weird, weird homes in The Sims 4. So I'm I'm obviously building this uh, for every occult in The Sims 4 because we have just completed the every occult challenge in The Sims 4. If you have not seen my let's play, please definitely check it out. I mean, it is like nine parts of just absolute chaos, but also weirdly enough, like knowledge because I've learned so much with this challenge. So it was definitely one of my favorite things I have done in The Sims. It wasn't my own challenge. It was actually created by James Turner. So I'm gonna leave everything linked for you below. If you want to see the episodes of mine if you want to see maybe James's episodes I'm going to link a few well I'll link like a playlist I suppose to one of his and then I'm also going to link the actual rules to the let's play because genuinely if you know me I love building and I love playing like random let's plays but it's just really crazy kind of challenges like this that make me just enjoy the game that much more because it just it forces you to do a theme or a task so you feel more like you want to finish it so you want to end the goal and you're more like tied to it and you're more in the zone I suppose obviously once we've completed it I I've kept okay well I'm gonna just fill you in the people that are probably watching this video have already seen the let's play so you know but I've been building every single home separately for each occult so that's that's also another story I have them all on my gallery if you would like to check them out but I didn't record them I kind of wanted to really enjoy that creative aspect of building them so I didn't make them into videos so again I thought it would probably be the best thing to do to make a video at the very end of like this massive house for all of the occults this is not going to be our regular like oh every bedroom is a different occult which also would be very fun to do but I decided to take it up like a hundred notches I'm creating like one build technically but to house seven well technically eight different occults one of them being our sim self so the human form and like it's it's nothing like I've ever built before in the form of that every single part of the house it all works together but every aspect of it things that are like coming out of the house I suppose they're all themed by a different occult so three of the occults are actually not attached to the house two of them will be in the back gra graveyard area I'm, I don't want to spoil things for you and one of them will be in the very corner in that sand pit that you see over there that's going to become another house but I don't want to spoil it for you it's a very long video but as I've noticed you guys like really long videos and even though I do love recording long videos as well sometimes to actually get them recorded and uploaded and things like that it is a lot of work but I have really enjoyed enjoyed this let's play as I've already mentioned so it, it kind of felt right it felt like the episodes needed to be long because I didn't want to cut things out there was too many funny things happening and also then with this uh with this video that you're watching right now you best believe this took me like the longest time to to record it was like I think there was four I'm looking at it there now there was four different videos and like two of them were an hour and a half one of them was 54 minutes and the other one is 26 minutes so you can only imagine that's like almost what like four five no four is it four hours I suppose it's almost four hours of building that I did on this particular house so I didn't want to like speed it up too fast that you literally be getting sick watching the video I wanted it to still feel like I'm showing you my thought process behind it also but also at the same time we won't be here for like 17 hours until literally sun goes down so I did want to leave as much of the little mistakes and as much of my little like thought process and like all the trial and error because a lot of these things were trial and error like what you see right now um, that alien tower yeah that was a lot of trial and error that was me like leaving the game coming back trying to get the lights to go green um, I mean it is pretty cool I'm very impressed with myself for like sitting down and getting my head in the game but like it was a lot of like going back and forth exiting the game bringing a sim in like testing out things you know so as you can see though with all of the specific processes I'm doing right now I had a lot of fun and honestly to me that's just the main thing I know there was a couple of you guys asking well not necessarily asking but you were excited about the idea of this house you know me recording a video so I had to do it you know you know you just knew I had to do it Plus, I haven't built uh, in The Sims for a very long time because I was really so stuck up on this challenge that I needed to finish it. Like, I don't think I've ever actually done that before because when we did normal Let's Plays like the Horse Ranch Let's Play or like the For Rent Let's Play, I did like videos in between. Sorry, I have a candle. 
have a candle burning behind me and it, I don't want to like burn the house down. So just keep an eye out on that candle for me. Thank you very much. Um, as I was saying, usually for my videos, if I have like a let's play, I usually like switch it up with some build videos. But you have no idea how just immensely excited I was to finish this challenge that like when you go into my YouTube channel, it's all just the the every every call challenge, every call challenge. It's like, I don't know how I did this to myself, but I did. And we're here now building a house for all the occults. Another reason for why I I thought it was absolutely perfect to build these people well a cult a house is because I actually grew such a like an attachment to these sims you know when you play for ages with like a sim or a character or family like you obviously grow to love them and even though half of the time my sims really just piss me off they annoy me they don't listen to me they do absolutely the total opposite of what I tell them to do but still like when you're there for so long and like you're playing with them you want them to make sure that they're happy and they live in a beautiful mansion so that's what I did because at the very beginning of the challenge uh, kind of the opposite to what James was doing James was like really nicely building up a massive mansion for them you know like as soon as he invited them to his household he like gave them beautiful living quarters whereas me I did the total opposite we they were living in like hostile vibes they barely had a bed so it was really just like a kidnapping that they were going through so that's why I also felt it was right for me to build this house so that we all everyone has a peace of mind now that these sims are actually living like a beautiful life and they won the lotto I don't know how they're gonna afford this house because it's very expensive in the end but look what was I gonna say just there um I'm gonna bring it up at the very end when I'm actually furnishing the inside because I am gonna build the chunk first because the creative process of actually making this house look nice I wanted to do the outside first and then do the furnishing inside so that's the way the video is gonna go by the way get yourself a snack um I have my coffee here with me because I need it so definitely get yourself a snack or something because it's a long video but what I was gonna say is I did that tower for the alien okay and I have a little bone to pick with the sims 4 if we have round rooms in the sims 4 can we get them to work properly that's my question question number one question number two would you not be embarrassed to put a feature into the game that doesn't work fully and number three when are we ever going to get round rooms fixed because by god you will see me trying to furnish the round rooms at the very bottom there's only two floors you can't actually go up to the very top where the green lights are but at the very bottom i tried to put like objects obviously as you do in a room and by god they don't work so i mean we'll get there i don't want to spoil everything for you um but i just have a bone to pick and i guess i'll get into it in a while what i'm doing at the moment uh, as you can see here is i'm working on the other side of the house which is going to house our servo pixel and at the bottom you have have Wolfgang so the werewolf and Pixel kind of have their little back area of the house which I thought it was so cool to have the back of the house so totally different to the front of the house but also kind of every angle you look at of the house it's all different <laughs> but I still wanted my own house so my I guess my house is like in the center that's like you know just regular modern you know whatever just regular standalone modern home but I wanted my house to like peep through every once in a while so that's what I'm doing now the side of it there I'm trying to get it all figured out because it was very difficult especially getting like the the terrain sorry not terrain the what's it called the thing I'm doing right now the level thing oh my god what's it called platform no not platform um I think platform whatever that is to get them all to be different colors you have to have t like every separate room of the house to be a separate room if you get me so all of these had to be different i don't know i mean it was a lot of stress but it was kind of fun as well to figure things out because as you know me i do like to figure everything out when i'm building and that's how i learn how to build pretty much so this build and this whole challenge actually taught me so much about the sims you have no idea as i was mentioning just there it was definitely probably the most excited i ever was to build or sorry not to build to do a let's play in the sims 4 because as much as it was a challenge it was really a let's play because we were were like growing old together well they actually weren't aging at all <laughs> so not everyone in this house is going to have like the same amount of room that also kind of bugged me a little bit but I, I kind of prioritized what the outside of the house looks like rather than the inside because as you can see the outside has definitely got a lot of character it's definitely the most interesting house I've ever built but I didn't actually account for what's gonna happen on the inside which we will get to in a minute but not everyone has the same amount of room I suppose so just keep that in mind um there is a lot of detail on the outside because again as I said this took me like four hours to do and also don't worry the inside of the house also 
looks pretty amazing like that but again I didn't want this house to seem like it's just like every other house that people build on YouTube obviously there's quite a lot of nice ideas because I did search did, did do a little bit of search rooney on this just to see what's out there but like there wasn't many that were really clumps like so you can see at that part there when I'm like twisting the house like loads of times that's me realizing oh my god what have I done and how in the name of Christ am I going to furnish this because this is gonna take years because at that point I think it was already like I want to say two hours in I'd say at that point yeah I think I'm just looking at the footage there I think a solid two hours okay so then we're moving to the outside so at the moment inside the house we're housing me um El Faba so the wizard then we have Callie the alien uh Wolfgang the werewolf and Pixel so there's one two three four if there's five people so five occults just say so then we also need the ghost and vlad and uku which is the mermaid jesus why is that taking me so long so at the moment you can see me working in the back of the house there <laughs> can you guess who's going to be living in this part of the house so i wanted there to be like a graveyard obviously because we have vlad and you know i think that's just pretty cool and i think vampires like kind of belong in areas like that you know i don't know what am i saying but then also I was like, oh my god, we have a ghost also. So what a perfect place to put the ghost and the vampire. So um, at that point I was like, oh yeah, I definitely know I want Vlad to live underground because that I think that's just the best. And we already kind of had him living underground in the house that we built. The last two homes that we built, I had him underground because obviously he burns in the sun. So he's the happiest when he's just like on his own downstairs. He also hates people. So it's just perfect. Now, I'm not particularly happy with the fact that you have to take a ladder to go down. I mean, I could have done like a nicer kind of like entrance for him. But you'll see. You'll see now in a minute. I put in a lot of effort into this graveyard for some reason. I was like putting in like color detail. And like in a minute, you'll see me putting like flowers and stuff. I mean, it's the, the realism really. And also because I guess every other cult are kind of getting their own house house i did want to make sure that the ghost and vlad also get a nice little sleeping vibey area so you can see here i'm just putting little flowers on the tombstone because i actually thought it was quite realistic and kind of cool to have like you know flowers obviously for the dead um i don't know why there is that wall by itself um in the basement but this is the entrance now that you can see me working on that's the oh i just hit my computer that is the entrance to vlad's little dungeon house so it, it just it looks like it's meant to be a part of the like the tombstones whatever and it doesn't kind of like attract your attention as much so it's a very secretive area i don't know i thought that was pretty cool i mean i could have hit it more but i was also happy with the way it looks i also put two lights outside of it and yeah i mean i really do love that part of the house i love the way we have a little graveyard in the back primarily also because we have a ghost living in our house so i mean she must feel very comfortable with the graves around although we do actually have i think uku's grave I had to put out the candle because it was really smelly. It's a lemon candle. Uh, I think we have not Uku. Oh my God, why did I say Uku's grave? No, I meant to say Alika's grave when he died that one time and his wife's as well. And remember that um that servo that died in our house? I think we have a couple of... um a couple of tombstones as well that maybe we could add to this i don't know that might be a bit of fun so here i'm working on uku's little mansion i don't know why uku gets like a whole house by himself it kind of makes no sense but also uku was quite annoying um he wasn't my favorite but he was also the first i guess that we got so maybe that also means you know that he gets his own little part of the world but i don't know he never really got along with people i think he only got all along with pixel because they had like a weird romantic relationship but Anyways, I am doing a little Solani inspired cute little shack and there is water surrounding it and you can like walk onto it. I think it's pretty cute. Now you can't swim in that because technically that is a pond, but I actually decide to put a pool in this house as well because obviously as we know when you have a mermaid, it's pretty annoying, but they need to swim all the time. Well, they don't need to swim, but there's like a couple of episodes where Uku like literally was ignoring us all the time and he kept going swimming. So I was like, what better place to add a little bit of a pool than upstairs so uku can literally get out of bed and go swimming i don't know this house is really weird but at that point i was like getting my creative juices flowing that i was like i've already done so much to the the majority of the house i need this to also be weird and crazy and like out of this world so we have a pool upstairs and you can see through it with windows so imagine when you're swimming and people are just looking at your legs kind of weird but i kind of like it at the same time so as i said or maybe i didn't i'm trying to use as much 
of the stuff from the packs as possible and that's actually one of my favorite things to do when it comes to like builds like this and the challenges like that that's why i kept building a new house for each occult because i wanted to keep using those objects that i don't ever use because i tend to stick to the exact same scheme the exact same like layout of things you know like the exact same objects fit in the layout the exact same style so i like to kind of keep things fresh with these challenges where i force myself to use objects that i may not particularly like but it's not really about about me at the end of the day because it's these personalities that your sims have you know why don't they want to like this why do all my sims have to be modern and bland and boring and they all like art and nothing else you know so it's kind of nice to be able to create homes that are different and homes that you don't necessarily like not to say that i don't like this i mean like it's kind of cute but still it's nice to put yourself out of your comfort zone and it makes you appreciate the packs a bit more too and yeah i don't know i wish there was like a way of telling me how many items like how many times i've used one item i think that'd be pretty funny that also made me question whether maybe i should do a build with like my least favorite object and then maybe a build using just my favorite objects because when we get to furnishing the house that's when i really realized like when i got to building my own house you know my own chunk of this house that i don't actually know what items i like and i kind of panicked a bit but we'll get to that in a minute now at this point we finished doing everything on the outside so there is a couple of little details that i will show you but we will do that at the very end where i actually take you through this house in real time but you know because i didn't want to speed everything too up too quickly but anyways forget about the outside for now we're moving into the inside of the house so this is when i realized oh no maybe this is a problem because aesthetically the house looks beautiful from the outside and everything works but then i was thinking i don't want everyone to come into their own homes through my part of the house do you get me i didn't want them to come into my house to enter their house so this is where i panicked and i was like oh no i'm gonna have to put build separate entrances to every single i guess occult house that i built in this in this particular chunk so as you can see here i am putting in el faba's door there like she would have had to walk through my front door and then i would have had to cut away from my house to let them into their house which again i mean that could have worked like a like a communal foyer i could have done that but i guess you yeah, know i didn't i kind of want them to have like their own separate space because we've lived together in tiny homes for I don't know how many years now in this let's play that I kind of wanted them to have their own little peace of mind so that they can do their own stuff. Um, also, another thing that I just thought about, how funny would this be if I actually made this into like an apartment complex and people like they like actually lived as like in, in apartments, like roommates kind of thing. I think that'd be pretty funny. Um, but altogether, I think this house costs like 269,000 when it's fully complete. So I don't know how we're gonna afford that but don't don't worry about that now we will figure it out eventually so i am working on servos part of the house here and honestly at that point i was ready to throw my computer out the window there was weird glitches happening with um with what with the roof and things like that and it's just i realized how little space i actually had for these people so i kind of snip away a lot of the furnishing because again i don't want this video to be 13 hours long i don't know 17 13 who cares um so i did cut out quite a lot of it but at the very end of this video i will be taking you in real time so I'll buckle up for that i think that will be a lot of fun now we're working through um we're in wolfgang's house so we're working away on his little interior again i've really had a lot of fun using those kind of like objects i don't like like the stove and things like that in the kitchen don't really like that but in this particular you know episode event building challenge i think it works really well i mean it also would have been very fun i think if as an extra challenge when we were doing the let's play to actually do this as we were going to create this massive house i think that would have been quite impressive and probably a bit more impressive than what i did but i just had so much fun building those separate little homes and also we lived in a tiny home for the longest time and the tiny home helped us out so much so i think that was quite important but now they live in this beautiful massive mansion and i can't wait to move them in i think i might move them in actually in this episode too so you can see everything and see what it all looks like when they're in i think that's pretty cute i actually thought i'd complete this challenge i mean no obviously i knew when i started it that i'm going to complete it but it just kind of came out of nowhere like one day he just like decided oh i'm doing this challenge and the rules were pretty straightforward but also there was like a few little catches to make it more interesting and you know i love a good challenge but i don't know i just never thought i'd actually do it and all of a sudden there's like nine parts on my channel now and they're all like an hour long and i don't know it's the craziest thing but 
I really enjoyed it. Now, my least favorite part of the house is actually El Faba's house, and I don't know why. For some reason, El Faba turned out to be a very boring and annoying and mean character, and not to say that, like, her personality transcribed into her house, but, like, I just really wasn't enjoying building this chunk of the house. I just thought it was so boring, and I don't particularly actually like the items from, um, the, what's it called? The wizard pack. Keep calling it wizards, but it's not. It's, um... What's it called? Um, wizard's pack. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. What is it called? It's not called wizard's pack. Um, witchcraft. No, Sims 4. What's it called? Sims 4 witchcraft. Oh, my God. Are you actually kidding me that I keep forgetting the pack so much that I'm going to have to Google what it looks like? Making magic. No, that's Sims 1, isn't it? <laughs> Sims 1, making magic. One second there now. What is it called? I'm very sorry. This is just so embarrassing. She's seven add-ons. Oh my god. There are so many add-ons to this game. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's see. Paranormal. No. Courtyard Oasis. No. Going together. Get to work. It's called Realm of Magic. Oh my god. That wasn't even at the tip of my tongue. I was about to say, oh, I almost had it. No, I didn't. Oh, oh my god. In my head, it's like Sims 4 Wizards pack. Realm of Magic. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's my like least favorite. Not to say it's my least favorite pack because I do like wizards. And oh my god, can I tell you how handy the wizards were in this let's play because of the potions that we had honestly wizards it's handy to have a wizard around and i liked that in this let's play that we had a bit of everyone because everyone kind of joined forces with elfaba's little potions you know the rejuvenation potions like we never died and things like that so i actually really like that that was one of my favorite parts of the let's play so we're working away then i believe i don't know i could be all over the place with this uh voiceover but we're working away on vlad's little corner of the house and i bought this pack the vampire pack especially for this let's play so you're very welcome ea so i did actually really like this pack and i'm gonna have to play it again properly by myself to figure it out but when we were doing um actually in the last episode when we were trying to figure out the vampires and we were learning the vampire skill lore that vampire skill was going up extremely fast and one of you guys said something in the comments actually let me try to get that comment up one of you guys i think said that it was normal but i don't think you realized that was very fast like it was like extremely fast um yeah you said uh, i do believe the book reading part of the sims for learning occult race faster than other skills yeah i'm not really sure to be honest with you i still haven't really figured it out but i feel like we've gotten through that uh vampire lore skill way too quickly so i want to try it again maybe it was just my game glitch but i don't know it felt just a little bit too easy for me so i'm definitely going to try figure that out again also the weirdest thing was when we actually got vlad into our household he had like no vampire lore skill and he also like had none of the achievements done in his life would you not think that maybe they would have added that into the game that like he actually comes with some skills and he actually knows a thing or two about vampires like he was learning the book like when we had a time to spare when we were waiting for temperance to arrive i was making him read the vampire lore skill and he was like oh my god i just learned about vampires and he was like oh yes i learned how to make plasma packs i was like you are the oldest vampire in this bloody game and you don't know bloody <laughs> to see the pun there and you don't know anything about vampires so i was pretty annoyed with that i thought that was a little bit weird and i thought the detail would have been nicer i almost feel like every time i do these um the like voiceovers i don't really like doing voiceovers a lot because i don't really particularly like watching them too much i prefer building in real time but i know it's easier obviously to to build by yourself and record whatever but sometimes i feel like i talk so fast i just like slow down because i've i've watched like i'm uh, not a little simsy actually little simsy talks quite fast sometimes but deligracy i feel like when she talks in her let's face she talks so slow that like she can actually elongate her words to like you know fill the time that she has whereas i'm like a speedy gonzalez like screaming into the into the microphone and actually i was at work the other day and i called someone about something and i started explaining my issue i was like oh my god i need help i need blah, blah. and the lady stopped me and she was like oh my god take a breath calm down like will you just chillax and say that again and i was like oh my god but that's a bit rude because that's just how i speak that's just how I am. Like, it's because of my anxiety. I speak like I am um, after three coffees, which this is actually my second coffee today. So maybe that's why I'm talking so fast. I also feel like I speed up when I talk, when I'm actually enjoying talking about the topic. So I'm obviously very much so enjoying this build and showing you it because I am extremely proud of this. The way that this actually turned out in the end is something I actually didn't think it would turn out like this. So obviously I knew I had an idea already like coming up to like the seventh or eighth part 
start you know when it was ending I was like yeah I'm gonna have to do a massive house because it's gonna be like the god house you know like the final boss of, of the sims 4 this is the house so this house is definitely that like I can 100% assure you when you see this house I'm obviously gonna add it to the to the gallery and there should not be any CC in this if there is I'm very sorry so you should be able to download this no problem but again why would you want this this house is like insane <laughs> if you want it let me know I would like to know are you gonna download this house because I mean download it just to see it because I think when you see all the detail and things like that I put into it that's when it gets like okay you then realize the amount of effort that I put into this and I laugh saying that because like I don't know like there's other people having real life jobs I mean I do have a real life job but also I wish this was my job with the amount of effort I put into this video or in this in this building in this build yeah I wish this was my real time job so please please subscribe <laughs> we're moving on I think we're at that point surely we're at that point um, of the voiceover where we're doing Uku's house again and again not my favorite part of the house part of the um the build but it was interesting to force myself to use objects I don't usually like and yeah speaking of the actual let's play so it obviously took us like nine episodes uh, which I kind of wanted it to only be nine episodes I could have made this longer to get more videos out of it but I kind of I, I kind of more actually enjoyed doing long episodes and fewer of them because I feel like more people who are watching them I suppose I don't know maybe this won't be the case when I do another let's play but when I was doing the floor rent let's play my episodes are so short because I thought people just didn't have the attention span maybe they do I don't know let me know what do you prefer do you prefer long episodes do you prefer short episodes who knows I mean I say this and then this building video was like 35 minutes long well actually it's probably gonna be more by now I am thinking of doing another let's play so I have a couple of building videos lined up because I haven't done uh, um, them in like the longest time so there is a couple of um of building videos that I'm gonna have obviously this one being one of them um but I am thinking and I am preparing slowly but surely of preparing all the background things for another let's play that James Turner is doing and I know I'm obsessed I think he plays the game really well and I like his game style so I trust him when it comes to let's plays so he's doing this challenge called every life stage challenge sorry I'm looking over there because that's my little um, cork board with ideas so he's doing that let's play at the moment I really like the idea of that because it's simple it's to the point it's like we get the point we get the idea now it is a little bit confusing in my head because there's a lot going on to it but obviously that adds the fun to it too you know you don't want it to be too simple because I was stuck between doing deligracy's challenge too now uh, from the top of my head I do not know what deligracy's challenge is so let me let me figure that out deligracy came up with an even bigger challenge than James and as much as I liked it I think it overwhelmed me a little bit so that's why we're I don't think we're going to be doing that one next so it's it's called Sims 4 Tiny Town. It tells me nothing, but uh, to give you a quick synopsis of it, I think she just gets like a massive like bit like a world I suppose and she creates I think seven or eight I suppose like because it's a full house I guess eight sims and she makes them live all together on one lot I think but they all have different like things that they like different um I guess aspirations different hobbies and they do they do random things it, it is a bit confusing I might look into it again um but again one of the reasons why I liked James's um I like James's content in general is because it's just a little bit more simple and w when you're trying to plan a let's play and you're trying to actually do the let's play it's sometimes easier just to pick something simple because you know I made my own rules I suppose as well by building the different houses and things like that you know so it it's easier for me to add rather than like to really get involved in such a big let's play and also another thing that I didn't really like was I think that you'd have to have all of the packs for or sorry deligracy's one obviously I still bought packs for the every occult challenge and you technically still have to have packs for the occult but like you know even like the what's it called like that new crystal pack like I'd have to buy that and you know I don't didn't really want to even though I kind of want to now because it's making me want to so again you're welcome EA but yeah I don't know I think that one is just a little bit more confusing but let me know what you think of it also if you have any other ideas please let me know so the every life stage challenge by James um that one is pretty much again going to be where your sim self starts you start with just your sim self and then I think you have to have like children with like random people I think either woohoo them or else you can do like a science baby and then you have to have every life stage obviously as the name suggests 
in the same household but like you have to do particular rules so i think that would be a lot of fun so let me know what you think i'm gonna stop myself right there and tell you that i when i got to the, the round room honestly just like i almost wanted to rage quit the sims i don't understand why there is round rooms in the game if they're not gonna work number one nothing snaps to to itself you can't put anything on the walls without it going like too high or too low you can't put any objects around forget about like lighting and everything that's just you know none of the doors work even though they say oh there's these doors that will work on round surfaces no they don't they all cut through and they just look so awkward and i can just guarantee you that's not going to be playable even though i haven't played tests of this we probably will at the end of this but oh my god i just absolutely hated working with that round room and it kind of upsets me a bit because you know people were raving about it well i know like little simsy did a lot of videos i think with the the round rooms and i know james did as well and like maybe they can make it work but i just can't so i don't know i just have a bump to pick with the sims you know why would you add this into the game if it's not working properly anyway Anyways, moving in, moving on, I guess not in, moving on to my part of the house, which honestly, the best part of the house, obviously, um, as we know. This is actually the funniest thing. This part was actually almost the hardest at the very beginning for me to figure out what I actually like. Like as myself, what do I want? What do I enjoy? So I got stuck on the kitchen for like the longest time. I had to like walk away for a minute and then I figured out, yeah, I like dark colors, dark woody tones, earthy tones. I like blues. I like a bit of greens. I love greens greenery to be around the house so <laughs> but that got me thinking i really really need to do a build where i use just my favorite objects to actually figure out what they are because when i'm asked oh build yourself a house i'm like i panic because i like a lot of different styles but i think what you're seeing right here is probably my favorite kind of style like when you see that downstairs bathroom it had like green wallpaper and i just love that for some reason like i loved the weird kind of styles that don't usually work together but they kind of do i don't know you tell me what this is because i can't figure it out i can't put my finger on it but i did have more fun building this house like i guess my part of it once i figured out okay yeah no definitely this is the style that i like i like the kind of dark tones like like a lot of black to be honest with you black and gold absolutely beautiful so upstairs i don't know why i gave myself actually this is so funny i just realized i don't know why i did two bathrooms like two big enough bathrooms when i'm just gonna be living here by myself but you know just in case i'm downstairs and i need to go to the toilet i don't have to go upstairs i have my little office space there as well which is pretty cute um, my little setup and the most important part of this room which you will see in a minute is the backdrop area because you also have a youtube 1 million subscriber burr plaque which i we're gonna just imagine that that is the youtube plaque and that i have a million subscribers and i'm obviously rich and everyone is subscribed after watching this video and this is how it begins so yeah thanks very much guys so that's that's the most important part of the video that plaque in the background of um <laughs> my setup in the sims 4 uh the bedroom absolutely loved the bedroom it took me a little bit of time again to figure out the style of it but definitely that black and gold and the greenery absolutely stunning and i love it and i wish i'm like praying crossing my fingers that this will actually be my house eventually someday I mean, maybe not with all the occult attached to me, um, attached at the hip to me, but you know, <laughs> I think maybe just the actual interior of the house will be mine. It's so funny watching this video or like watching this, um, speed build like you can see snippets of the other homes like around you know like in your view obviously in your field of vision you can see like pixels home in the back or you can see like you know something else in the back it's just so funny because when i was it obviously took me so long to to furnish this as well that you kind of forget what you're doing and then you zoom out and you're like whoa i've wasted so much time doing this because you just get so into it that you forget what you're doing and then you zoom out and you're like oh my god everyone else is also here it feels a bit claustrophobic, but I kind of love it. Working on the last little uh, slitherine of the house, and I'm going to get us ready to jump into the game so that you can actually see what it looks like. I'm going to bring everyone into it as well. I'm going to make sure that everyone is settled in. Uh, what's the word assign each bedroom to everyone and i think that would actually be so fun to see them all interact in this house and fingers crossed everyone cross your fingers now that everything is going to be playable and nothing is going to be like glitched out and they'll actually be able to walk around this mansion okay we're in the game now so let's uh oh yeah i'm gonna have to kick my sim self out so i think i managed to collect all of their personal belongings so that we have all of our crops and things like that i don't know why there's two suitcases there i think we have stay over guests 
do we? <laughs> of course we do. We have the flower bunny and Clement Frost staying with us, of course, <laughs> as you do. So I am going to try, like we have 107,000. That's pretty good to be fair. What if I sell some of the stuff that we have in our inventory, like this grand piano that we definitely stole from someone and like all of these things. Why do I have so many things? Okay, that leaves us with 125. What if I actually sell sell all of my nectars as well multi-select oh no i can't select everything okay let's try sell all of our nectar that's twenty-five thousand just for a couple of bottles i know we're selling them and it's quite sad but look how like fruitful this will be for us you see what i did there fruitful fruit nectar <laughs> Thirty-nine thousand. yes sell okay i think we still need like seventy thousand, but i have a couple of things here that are worth a good amount oh yeah this place is ten thousand. yeah let's definitely sell that will i sell all my fish is that even worth it okay look twenty two thousand. that's pretty good i feel like we might have enough okay this house is 263 but if we sell our furniture we still have sixty six thousand left oh my god we are rich and here we are we have gained one million simoleons and our finances are minus forty nine thousand. i don't think so anyways guys this is what the house looks like all finished so we've got <laughs> everyone's little area everyone's little living quarters are here and i'm gonna take you through everything individually one by one so this is el faba's house um as i said not really my favorite but you know i guess it can work there's definitely gonna be mistakes here and there because i obviously it took me so long to do this but look it's okay we'll make this work so i'm gonna get el faba to go and maybe i don't know sit down here on this chair no don't inferni the chair sit down oh wait can she not get in <laughs> oh here we go go here what do you mean you can't get in get in here what is in the way okay what is it that's in the way oh so you mean this couch is in the way of you getting in there i'm so confused okay so um let's just teleport her in Oh, can I not? Okay, let's move on. What about you, Callie? Can you get into your own house? Probably not also. So this is Callie's little house. Very nice, very sterile. I love all these. These are honestly my favorite. Like, look at how adorable these are. So she has them all in her little bedroom, you know. She has no fridge except for this. So she only drinks little juices. And she also has an IV there just in case she needs more nutrients. And also, she can't get into her own house. Can you not go in here? No, you can't. Great. Okay, so that's ideal let's uh, <laughs> let's not worry about that for a minute what about wolfgang hey wolfgang how are you doing you're probably doing miserably because you always seem to be miserable but look you should have no problem getting into your house you see you need to go to the toilet so hey not you wait wait wait, wait. you need to step outside go here perfect okay you can go to the toilet if you want i guess take feral poo now, Uku, where are you? Whose house are you? You're in my house. Okay, not on my watch. You have to go to your own house. Now, Uku, this is your house. Can you get in? You can. Can you go up the stairs and sit on this chair? Please say yes. Yes, you can. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Have a Sims bladder fail on a lot with more than five toilets. Who was that now? <laughs> this is the ghost room. So let's do a sign bed to Malati. I love this, um, this room as well. I think it's pretty cute. Why don't you go for a quick little shower for yourself since you have weed on yourself. And then also uh, Vlad, since his vampire energy is going down tremendously quick, will you please go down and claim your own bed down here, please? You can't. Oh, great. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to tell Teleport him here because he's about to die. So then we also have Pixel and myself. So why is El Faba in this bathroom? Honestly, El Faba, no. Let me check out Pixel's house. So I actually really like Pixel's house. I'm gonna lock this for everyone, but Pixel. Pixel has a bathroom downstairs. Uh, I don't know what for because Pixel doesn't go to the bathroom. But Pixel's house is actually pretty cute. I think the whole vibe of it is amazing, and I really hope you'll be able to get into the house. Okay, looking so looking good so far. Yay! Okay, he seems to be one of the only people that can get into his house so i'm i'm pretty delighted with that right let me just set the bed to him he's gonna go for a little recharging nap and then the last but not least is myself which carried through this whole challenge and managed to get us here so why okay why is bike here on the top option like i'm not gonna bike up the stairs and also create seance no go here yay and now we're in our own house and i'm gonna set this bed to myself so that way then i think everyone should be 
be kind of okay and in their homes i think wait can you like sit here it's actually so difficult to figure out like where everyone is in this house when you look from the top like you can't actually see anything because there's just so much happening where's cali now so everyone is in their cute little house doing their cute little things i'm gonna just show you very quickly the back little yard area so this is where we're gonna have cute little barbecues and you know have cute little parties this is obviously where our plants will go which i will probably not set up this is this cute little area here that wolfgang has because i felt bad wolfgang has like the smallest house so i kind of gave him like an outdoor area here as well so you can you know go work out or you know i don't know do cute little things okay i've just realized this actually shouldn't be like that oh god okay the house is glitching already but i'm gonna have to make sure that everything is perfect for when i upload it to the gallery because there's a lot of detail in this house and i want you all to see it and what i want you to point out to you is these these black flowers i never knew they existed in the game but there's black flowers and they came with the cottage living pack so i think that's pretty cute also this is a bar and we're worshiping uh gidri because i think that's pretty funny um what else will i show you that's pretty cool oh he's actually just sitting in his chair what cutie okay go for a swim go swim you can't you're joking me uh skinny dip oh you can skinny dip but you can't swim that's just perfect oh yeah what a great view we have from under there perfect <laughs> Oh, uh, well, anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, to take you through the whole house, I think it would be pretty difficult. But what do you, what do you think? What do you think of, of everything? What do you think of the way it looks? What do you think of the actual idea of this? What do you think of the let's play? I'm trying to, like, get back into my own house. Okay, there I am. This is my own house. Obviously, my own house is the best. This is where I sit down and edit my videos. And then I turn around. And this is my um, gold 1 million subscriber plaque. So that's what I have here. And, yeah. I'm lost again. <laughs> well, guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. I just want to say thank you to everyone that stayed watching. This house is annoying me already, just like this Let's Play did. But I really liked it, and I hope you did too. And I hope you like this build. Please let me know what you think. It is up in the gallery, so you can download it for yourself. Hopefully, there won't be many glitches. And hopefully, I'll be able to figure out why people can't get into their homes. But anyways, as per usual, if you are new here, and this is the first video you see of mine, I don't usually build homes like this. But for this, I had to... I had to go all out and i hope you appreciate it as much as as i i do and as much as i enjoyed building it don't forget to subscribe and check out the let's play and as i said let me know what you would like to see next what kind of challenges you want me to do because i'd be open to suggestions but yeah guys i shall see you in the next video sadly this challenge is coming to an end but look we will we will start a new one and i'm sure we will get attached to more characters <laughs> thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next video bye